does one experience the sensation of free flight if they are not a bird and not jumping from a tower or bridge in a parachute? Gymnasts definitely know the answer. Strength, agility, dynamics, movement coordination and movement speed are all characteristics of acrobats. It's a six-second long performance that takes your breath away. Only people who are truly in love with this sport can achieve significant results in it. One of them is the heroine of today's episode, Olena Orlova. Zodiac sign Taurus Favorite animal Black panther Eye color Green-brown Favorite color Yellow Favorite season Summer Olena Orlova started training on a spring track at the age of 13. Prior to that, she was engaged in acrobatic gymnastics for nine years. Then her friend offered her to try herself out in a new sport, and Olena agreed. She knew about tumbling firsthand because her mother Helena had once been a gymnast. The highly professional gymnastic training helped the heroine of today's program quickly achieve success in tumbling. I did the same jumps as in gymnastics. I showed what I could do – flips, somersaults, front fulls and double fulls. So I had already qualified for the title of candidate and a year later I became a master of sports of Ukraine. It's a bit simpler here because there is more equipment in acrobatic gymnastics, so it's harder. But tumbling is harder in its own way because there are more difficult elements than in basic gymnastics. Acrobatic jumps are a set of fast and rhythmic jumps from the arms to the feet, from the feet to the arms, and from feet to feet that last about 6 seconds on a 25-meter long spring track and finishes with landing on a mat. At competitions, athletes perform two passes of their choice in preliminary competitions and in the finals. Each pass contains eight compulsory skills. There is a smooth pass in which all elements are performed with a rotation around only one axis. We do a double flip at the end, either a double full or a double back somersault. But now it is time for me to raise the level of difficulty and add a transition to be able to do two double flips. Another pass consists of twists. There has to be a round off, then a front full or a back flip and then another twist in the end. The bare minimum is a twist, then two twists, three twists, a backflip and a double fool. In order to give you a short introduction to spring track jumps, we're going to show some of the tumbling elements that our heroine just mentioned. This is called a whip. It is very similar to an aerial flip. It is a straight body front flip. This is a front full and this is a round off. The difference of this technique is that it begins with two feet on the ground. Judges assess the degree of difficulty, the cleanliness of their performance, the height and rhythm and the landing. It is very important to prepare yourself for the difficulty of the performance. Deal with your anxiety. We try to get ourselves geared up during training. For example, when I do the final pass, I imagine that I am at a competition. Then, when I am at an actual competition, I try to imagine that I am just practicing to reach the end and make a stock landing. And I must admit that this method really works. Dream in sports. A gold medal at a world championship. Dream in life. To get married, have a family and children. Love. Mutual trust. Happiness. Something warm that makes you smile. Olena Orlova has been a member of the national team of Ukraine since 2009. As part of the team, she became a bronze medalist of the European Championships twice, in 2012 and 2014. In 2014, both the men's and women's teams of Ukraine walked up the pedestal to third place at the European Championship in Portugal. Olena shared her bronze medal success with other Ukrainian athletes Katerina Baeva and Darina Alexeyeva. We took third place as a team. None of us fell. We executed our passes pretty well and we finished third. We took third place at the European Championships twice. Four girls do their passes and the three best results are taken. 
This means that even if someone makes a mistake, the fourth participant can save it as a spare. After all, we athletes have some inner desire to prove that we're the best, or prove yourself in an arena with others like you. And we compete, even though everyone knows that passes are the same, but some are better at certain elements than others. And that's probably what gives athletes certain motivation. At least that's what I think. It is some kind of an athletic spirit. Olena Orlova combines her sports career working as a coach at a children's sports school. This is about communication with children, having the opportunity to tell about their sport, attract the interest of others in it, and seeing the results of working together. These factors are the best motivation for any athlete. Olena works with children at the age of six and up, but there was a case in her coaching career when a 16-year-old boy wanted to learn tumbling. <laughs> Stas Podostroyets is my athlete. He learned to do basic somersaults and flips on the street because he couldn't engage in sports for health reasons. Later he came to me and said he wanted to become a master of sports. And I said, let's give it a try. Since he came from the street and his hair was unkempt, I was a bit scared because I thought he wouldn't listen to me. But he turned out to be very obedient. He trained with six to seven year old kids and did the same exercises as they did. Then he gradually became a master of sports and in the end qualified for competition in the Olympic Games. Together with her teammates, our heroine gladly takes part in various master classes. They visited young art tech kids talked with them, did a warm-up and learned the basic positions and elements of acrobatics. Tumblers are regular participants in city sports events, namely the day of physical education in sports and Olympic lessons. Their sport with a spring track always attracts particular attention. It also gathers crowds of people who want to watch the professionals and try out using genuine sports equipment themselves. They like it. They like jumping in various complicated flips. We show them the simple ones at first, of course, but they still like it. Many children train here, but the issue is that parents don't always bring their kids here regularly, because school curriculums are becoming more overloaded. They have more lessons and sometimes tutors, which distracts them from sports activeness. Favorite book – Master and Margarita Favorite movies – I like all the comedies. I listen to pop music. Our heroine believes that doing tumbling on a spring track demands strong desire and will. Flexibility, endurance, coordination and a good vestibular apparatus are also very important. Those whose vestibular apparatus is weaker will get a mild concussion after 10 flips. If they keep doing it, they might even get sick. So we increase the load gradually. We start with two flips, then we can add another three or four when they get used to it. This is how they gradually train and start to master the art of the sport. This is an example with flips. This is a sport that requires coordination, and coordination is different, though it improves in the training process. But if a person has a naturally better sense of coordination, jumping is easier for them. Naturally, physical strength is also important in our sport, though it is not as intense in a sport like powerlifting. You need a decent muscle corset here, so that your body remains straight and keeps your back straight while tumbling in mid-air. 
this is a particularly important element of the sport. According to our heroine, even if you don't become a professional tumbler, the skills you acquire in this sport will be useful in everyday life. She even gives an example from her own experience. It helped me once. I was jogging in the botanical garden and tripped over a root. I did a flip, got up and kept going. I thought to myself, that's pretty cool. Another occupation of our heroine is judging at competitions. She was the head referee at the Ukrainian Open Tumbling Competition. When you're the head judge at a competition, it's even easier in a sense, because you don't sit in one place, but mostly move around. You go to certain places to check if everything is all right. But when you judge technique and complexity, you just sit in one place and judge the performances of the athletes at competitions. Favorite dish? Uh, seafood. I can make. Sushi. Favorite drink? Coffee. Since 1998, tumbling is one of the trampolining disciplines. Previously, it was an element of sports gymnastics. It's hard to say what sport it is closer to. But trampolining has always been an integral part of tumbling training, although the equipment is different from what trampoline athletes use. Our trampoline is mounted in the floor, and we have a pit where we practice difficult elements. But trampoliners jump on trampolines that stand on the floor. They're higher, so when you're jumping on one, it's a bit scary because you can jump too high and simply fly out. To avoid that, you also need to train very hard. Trampolining is Olena's favorite hobby and another job. She trains people at a mall. It's a sport, recreation and entertainment that both adults and children can enjoy. As a true professional athlete, Olena requires discipline and proper execution from her students. Little Katerina diligently performs all the tasks of her coach. Right. Get back up. We'll put the mat back in place. OK, try again. Once more. Right. Sit down. Get up. Great. The biggest dream of Olena Orlova is to win a World Games medal. It will take place in Tokyo in 2019, and our heroine is determined to pass the selection to this competition. Of course, the World Games is the most important competition. I won't get far with my personal score, because I'm fairly weak on my own. But I'd like to win as a member of a team. We have stronger girls who can make a great contribution, and I can support them. You can feel her love for her sport in her every look, motion and her voice. This is her life, her world. She's constantly improving herself and demands the same from her students. She believes that her greatest achievements are still ahead, and she's ready to fight for them. I like doing this, and I'll keep doing it for as long as I genuinely enjoy it. Obviously, I would end my career if I sustain any serious injuries or health-related issues. But I continue jumping while I have fun doing it and have the physical energy. I will try to set some records. I think that I will keep engaging in this sport until the age of 40.